my favorite part was taking pictures. <laughs> yeah. I love taking pictures, especially because I could, um, I had an idea of what I wanted. From the video, I talked about this girl named Susie Q. And it was basically just like talking about how like she touched my hair and I was like ready to pop off, but I didn't. My story was about a community called Swansea and I really wanted people to understand what it was like for people who live in Swansea. I was like, what if they're not gonna like it? What if like they're like, okay, that's weird. Why no? Why is she singing? But like, I was just really nervous. There's a mango tree, and all of my cousins are surrounded, and I'm in the middle on the mango tree, and that's one that I loved just because it's really the connection with the people and with the connection that the people have with the land. This is just a story about someone who had a trouble identifying who they were. Um, in terms of race and um, my impact uh, that I would make and kind of realizing certain oppressions that I have in my life. No matter how far I'm coming, I'm not going to forget my roots and I'm always bringing them with me. I think in a time where we're seeing how corporate media isn't really serving the people and in the revolution that we're trying to um, be a part of, People need an opportunity, they need the tools to shape their stories. And this is that tool for them.